Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's definitely been a minute since I've sat down here with my phone horizontally recording. There's been a big push for YouTube Shorts recently, so I've been really focusing on that, but I miss doing these just regular YouTube, full YouTube videos. But it's been really busy for me at work, and then on my weekends, I just want to fully relax. So it's been a bit of trying to bring that balance back again, you know? Anyways, this video is all about the Amazon Kindle. Honestly, I never thought I would be that person that would have a Kindle. I mean, I do enjoy reading, but I didn't think I enjoyed reading as much as I actually do. I kind of forgot. And obviously the Kindle isn't new at all. It's been around for years. This isn't even the newest Kindle, but this is the one I chose and I thought it would be helpful just to talk to you guys about it because who knows who's out there looking for a Kindle, whether they want the first ever Kindle or if they want the newest one or something right in the middle. And that's exactly what I wanted. I was always the kid in school that enjoyed reading, but only really read when I had to. I never really had a book I read for fun. The first book I read, which was actually for fun, but I made a part of my little reading assignment at school was A Child Called It. And that was like maybe fourth grade. But then after that, I didn't really read anything else. Um, I do remember a few books that we read in school that I did enjoy reading. I also remember a few short stories I also enjoyed reading, like uh, The Telltale Heart. I think it was in either middle school or high school. And then after that, The Notebook came out. And of course, when I found out it was a book, I was like, I'm gonna read the book. But then I had a hard time because I saw the movie first. I was trying to match up the movie scenes with what I was reading in the book. So that just didn't work out at all. So now because of that, I always make a point to read the book first if I know it's going to be turned into a movie or if I know a movie's coming out soon. And that's exactly what I did with A Journal for Jordan. When I saw the movie with Michael B. Jordan was coming out and saw it was a book, I was like, I gotta read the book first. And I read it in like two days, definitely an easy read. That's also what I did with Where the Crawdads Sing. So I actually don't, I'm not really into the book world or the book universe to where I know um, all the books in the New York Times bestseller, you know? I usually just like see a movie trailer and then I'm like, oh, it's a book, I gotta read that. And then we had a few trips coming up and I was like, you know what, I don't wanna be on my phone, it's gonna hurt my eyes during the whole fly, so let me read a book. So then I got a few more books. Got The Perfect Marriage. I liked the book up until the very end. Cat the Dog, just a book about rescue dogs. And then Thunder Dog, I love books about dogs. True story, like it's about, it's, you just have to read about it. So then I thought, wow, I'm actually getting back into reading and this is becoming quite the collection. I mean, I'm sure this is nothing if you actually read more often than I do, uh, but this is my collection plus a few cookbooks and then what I'm currently reading, but not like really into it right now, um, how to get good with money. Then, and this is heavy itself too. So then I was like, hmm, maybe it's time to actually make the switch and become digital with my books. I was really, really against it at first. I like flipping through pages. I like seeing my progress as I turn each page. I like to see, oh, I'm halfway through the book. Oh, I have just a few pages left and then I'm going to be done. And it's such a good feeling of an accomplishment. But then the other part of it was, they don't carry all the books I want at the Barnes & Noble by my house. And if I want to read something, I'm going to have to wait for it. Because I really do get the majority of my books from Amazon if they're not at Barnes & Noble. That's actually just where I get my books. But then I was also like, well, depending on what kind of book I get, it can be either really thin and light and easy to carry on a plane or really thick and just heavy, just weigh my bag down. So then I started doing some research on Amazon Kindles, all the different kinds, and I decided to just do it. So now all of my books are on this skinny little thing compared to having each book. Like, it saves so much space. And yes, I do, I still love real books, but I have completely been sold on this. Like I'm convinced this is the way to go. But if there's something I really want a hard copy of, then I'll just go ahead and buy the actual book itself. So my overall thoughts on the Amazon Kindle, absolutely love. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, even a 12 out of 10 because it's just that good. And I know I was definitely one of those people when I would watch these videos on YouTube of reviews on the Kindle and they'd be like, yeah, that's, it's so uh, worth it. And I'd be like, really is it 
but it really is. So right now I am in the middle of reading a book. Let me show you some of the features. So I bought the cover separately and I just wanted, I got this cute little purple one. Otherwise it would just be this black Kindle by itself. And you can choose what kind of cover you want. So I think the cover can kind of rotate and you can also choose if you want it to be the cover of the book you're currently reading, which is what I chose. So right now I'm reading The Housemaid. I am like 80% through it, maybe 85% through it. If I wanted to wake it up, it goes right here. Normally it would go to my the page I left off reading on, but I went back to the main library to show you everything that I have in here. So I have reading The Housemaid. I've already read a few other books down here. And then you can just scroll and it'll like kind of take you through your collection. My collection's really short on here. So right now I have the black background with the white text, but I can easily change that if I go tap at the top, similar to an iPhone, but you don't have to like drag, you just tap. And there, I'm on dark mode, but I can switch it back. And now I'm like on the paper white. Oh yes, I should mention this is the Amazon Kindle Signature Paper White Edition. I like this one because it's waterproof, not like I'm taking baths all the time, but if I wanna bring this out to the pool, I can easily read it. It doesn't hurt my eyes. I was concerned about the whole screen thing because I learned about this in one of my marketing classes in college. Um, no matter where you look these days, there's always gonna be a screen in front of you, whether it's your phone, maybe an Apple Watch, the TV, maybe an iPad, your computer. There are screens everywhere, so your eyes never truly get a break even this is a screen but this is a screen that doesn't hurt your eyes which is why i think if you compare this to an ipad this is so much better for you you can also increase the size of the text you can also change up the themes font the layout which i didn't even know there are so many things that you can just customize to your liking oh you can even change your read in progress I did not even know that. See, there's so much I haven't messed around with yet because I was just so excited to get it that I was like, oh, time to start reading. I do have an account with Goodreads. I feel like I was the last person to know about that because I'm not a huge reader, but if you are big into reading, you probably already know about it and you can link your accounts here. So if there's something on my list that I'm interested in reading or that I've already read it and I just wanna add it to my collection, um, you can do that through Goodreads and it'll update here on your Kindle. So I really thought I was going to miss flipping pages just because I like the feeling of turning a page in a book, but I can just tap. So if I were to open up this book, I already finished. So if I were to open up this book that I've already finished, I can just tap, tap, I can tap back. Oh, well, that was the end of the book. And then you can read it. And then you can see your progress where it gives you your percentage of how much of the book you've read and then what page you are on. So the percentage of how far I am into the book has really replaced my page turning feel for me. I also like that once I'm done reading with a book, I can go back to my home page and there's a list of Kindle Unlimited recommendations. So I can easily just kind of go through and see what's being recommended for me. I don't pay for Kindle Unlimited. I have the free trial and I'm probably going to cancel once it's up. I'm not sure when exactly that will be over, but I put a reminder on my phone so that I don't have to pay for it. But watch me actually really miss it when it's gone and then I'll probably just be a, a real member. Yeah, I'm going through my recommendations right now and there's a lot of dog books dog stories just make me cry. I can't. So overall, yes, the Kindle is definitely worth it. I think you should get one if you like reading or even if you are wanting to get into reading. I've already read two full books. I'm about to be done with my third since I got this Kindle and I think I've had it for maybe a month now and I really love it. One thing that I really enjoy about this and I didn't think I would so much is like I can read at night and not hurt my eyes. Like I actually did think about, well, I can just stick to real books. And I can just get a little uh, book lamp to clip on the top of it. I just feel like it could bother your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife in bed uh, because the light can be a bit bright. I think I don't, I've never had one compared to just having the Kindle where you can control if you wanna be on dark mode. You can control the brightness of your screen. You can be, you can have a yellow tone. You can have, you can, you can even have a yellow light tone, which I really like at night before bed. So to me, stacking up the pros and cons between hard copy books and a Kindle, there were just so many pros to the Kindle compared to 
everything else about the books. There are definitely people on YouTube who can give you a much more in-depth review of the Kindle versus real books. I would Google, or actually I would search on YouTube, pros versus cons, Amazon Kindle. Uh, for me, everything leaned towards the Kindle. There's some weight to it, but it's not that heavy. It's not gonna hurt your hand. You can read at night, you can read anywhere, and you're not gonna hurt your eyes. You can get books instantly because it's digital. You don't have to wait. You can carry all of the books in your collection in here. You can even read multiple books at a time and it'll save your spot as many as you wanna read all in here. You can use this at the pool. You can take it in a bath. Most of all, I love that it doesn't hurt your eyes. That's pretty much it. It's not the most in-depth review, but like I said, I just wanted to share my experience with it. You know, I'm not a bookworm at all, but I do enjoy reading and I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll leave what I'm currently reading right now down below in the description box. I'll also leave some of the books I've already read. And um, I think I have all of these books on my Amazon storefront, so I will leave a link to that below as well because these are books I really enjoy. I will also leave the exact Kindle that I have right now and a link to the cover. Um, there were a few, I was really picky about my cover. I wanted something very smooth, not a lot of texture and a nice pretty color. So I'm glad I got this one. All right guys, that is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. Again, I know it wasn't the most in depth, but I just wanted to share my experience with you guys in case any of you guys are like me and just kind of, you know, thinking about it, weighing the options. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.